Hey everybody, today I'm doing a painting on a 16 by 20 canvas. And the colors that I'm going to use uh, um, is teal blue, yellow, and good old red. I'm using ink by Resin Obsession. Just need a few drops in each cup of whatever color you want. I pre-mixed my resin. I am using art resin, one part art resin, one part hardener. That's all you need. You mix it for three minutes, then you put it in the cups and whatever colors you want, you add the colors to your cups. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna add the blue. And I'm just going to rub this in, in my hand. I like this color. It's pretty. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to add the yellow. And red. I like a little bit more yellow here. Finger painting, like a little kid, huh? I love resin. Love it, love it, love it. I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of yellow on top of the red. A little bit more yellow over here. And I'm gonna torch it and see what we end up with. Now, by torching it, I'm popping all those little bubbles. You probably can't see them on camera, but there's a lot of them. You want to get them out because you don't want it you know, curing like that, or you'll have little bumps everywhere. And it also heats the resin so you can move it. Multitasking here, I'm going to put a little bit of blue on the end. I think I got red or something there. That's right, it's gonna move around anyway. Now wow, there's a lot of little bubbles. Okay, that should be good. Let's see what we got. Let's move it around. I like that red on top of the blue. It's it's a really dark, unique effect. Sorry, I'm off camera there when I do that. And we're making green and purple. And 
and I have some clear in my cup. I'm just going to throw it on here. Torch it one more time. Got to move quickly with this torch, too. If you stand too long with the torch, it will burn the resin. I've done that many times. Not on purpose, <laughs> but I've done it. sure I'm not sure of this at all actually nope so I'm gonna move it around because I am not happy with the results so we'll get this purple leaf color which we made by adding the blue and the red together and I guess we'll just make it every time I have something in my mind it just doesn't come out this doesn't come out exactly the way I wanted it. With resin, you never know what you're going to get. That's for sure. You guys better be prepared for that. That, my friend, is no joke. Resin definitely has a mind of its own. Starting to like it now. Looks a lot better. Yeah, and my cups fell over. This is why I hate using these cups. But I'm out of my little stands because I made so many paintings. Because we're in the middle of a blizzard out there, northeastern, and we are being slammed. Okay, let me take my gloves off. I'm like. I'm always trying to do something when I have a torch in my hand, aren't I? <laughs> this red around a little bit here. Come on, baby. That's it. Here is my painting, all finished. I love the way it made the purple and the green. It's so pretty. It's like fluid-like and I love that look. What do you guys think? Let me know. Also, if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much, have a great day.